Hey, it's Daniel here. For the last six to 12 months, I have been using AI shortcuts a lot in my workflow and AI in general. Um, AI shortcuts for me basically are um, shortcuts on my keyboard that I can invoke that then immediately launch an AI workflow. And I've kind of looked at the different AI shortcuts that I use now and I think it's around 10. Um, and the more I use them, the more useful I find them. Those are often small things uh, in my kind of daily work, but they really stack up and just making uh, working with the computer and text just much more fun and easy. So I'm just going to show you them um, because maybe that's interesting for you. So let's take a look here. So I tried to visualize it on the keyboard. I think they fall into two camps. Uh, the first camp are apps and tools and the second camp is text. So maybe the first one to show you is uh, an easy way for me to instantly transcribe my voice to text on my computer. And this works by pressing the FN key twice. And I'm using an app here called uh, Hex. So let's try this out. So I'm going in here, pressing the key twice, and now it's currently recording my voice. And I can say anything here. I can say that I'm recording a video. And then if I press the key again, you can see it pastes everything here into the current uh, text box that I'm in. Super helpful, especially for my case, um, for coding. So if I'm, uh, I'm, I'm coding and I interact with an AI in my coding environment, then I can say, hey, please fix that bug and also keep in mind this and that. So it really helps me to quickly just out of my head, get things uh, to, to the AI or into my computer. The next kind of app and tool is Translate. This is really helpful because uh, I live in the Netherlands, but I'm originally from German. I speak some Dutch, but writing is the most uh, difficult uh, for me. Um, and then sometimes I actually also don't understand what is written in Dutch. And the way this shortcut works is that I uh, first have to um, uh, select text. And actually, uh, let me jump ahead here for a second and get this text. And then I'll show you also how I did what I just did now, which is basically the quickly getting text from an image. But let's continue here. So I have some text here and I want to translate that. All I need to do is uh, hit Option and T. Option is always the modifier for my AI shortcuts. And what you see now, it's understood it's in Dutch and translated it into um, English. If it would be in English text, it would translate it into Dutch. Super simple, super valuable and helpful for me, especially for writing emails because now I just write them in English. At the end, I press Option T and I translate it into Dutch. I check if it's correct because I can also read Dutch generally and then I just uh, send it off. Super nice. So the shortcut that I just showed you um, is OCR, which is basically a AI technology to, to uh, grab text from an image. And this shortcut for me is on option C. You can see that in the bottom left here, I can just select any text and it puts that uh, text into my clipboard or like any image which has text. Um, super helpful, I use that also quite a lot. And then I have a web shortcut. This is one I don't use that often, but I think it's quite interesting and I want to experience it a little bit more. Um, so here, for example, you see um, I asked this question and basically what it does is it instantly goes to the web and tries to make a search to try to find an answer. So for example, here, let's run this. What was the latest news about the mass discovery? Please give me a summary. And here it says, I searched recent news results and found multiple reports about a major Perseverance rover finding described as potential biosignatures from ancient Martian Lake. Yeah, and this war with the news this week. So I think that's, that's quite nice to quickly get something from the internet that you might look for. Don't use it a lot at the moment. Might want to uh, yeah, try out where it's useful uh, in, in the future. Okay. That covers the apps and tools. Um, let's talk about um, text and text manipulation, stuff like that. I have one shortcut configured here that is basically a catch all shortcut, which is uh, option. I don't know why it says alt here, option, uh, option plus enter. And this basically allows me to ask the selected text something. 
Um, maybe let's do the following. For example, here I have a text about an article. Let's quickly grab this text with OCR and then just paste it inside here. Oh, oh that's interestingly formatted. Let's try again. Maybe it has problems with the S here. So AI is not perfect, but generally it saves a lot of time. Didn't get the S. Now we have the text. Um, and here I can now select this and I press option enter. And now I can ask something here. For example, what are the key numbers in this text? Press enter. And then it just looks through the text and it says like, okay, 600,000 people, uh, 1.3 billion, five, basically just pulling out all of the numbers that might be interesting for me. And this is, of course, very flexible. I can ask it anything. I can now, for example, uh, say, uh, translate uh, into Chinese, um, and it just does that, you know? Um, so that's uh, pretty, pretty amazing and pretty helpful. If I actually press um, Command Shift Enter, Instead of it taking the selected text, it takes the last clipboard text. So this is kind of a small um, other version of, of using it. And then basically the other shortcuts that you see here, um, these are basically all related to how to yeah, manipulate text. This is maybe something that you might want to do or a lot of people do in ChatGPT, but through Raycast it's just much faster. So for example, here I have an email that I just retyped very quickly um, uh, in here. So I made a bunch of mistakes that you can see here. And if I press uh, option F, what it does, it just removes all of the typos in here. I press enter and then now it's corrected. This shortcut I'm using probably five to 10, maybe sometimes even 15 times per day. So helpful for me to be more relaxed about how I write. At the end, uh, I can just uh, reduce uh, having any annoying typos in there and it just saves me a lot of time honestly um, and then the other ones that I have here is maybe let's take a look at them first is improve and polish for me the idea is that basically polish is just basically taking exactly my voice of writing and exactly the content but just trying to make small improvement maybe uh, improving the structure of it of a um, sentence to just make it a little bit nicer and then improve uh, basically rewrites the uh, the text and just yeah makes it better written so um, improve is a bit more severe and then polish is just very slight additional touch we can test it out here i'm still working on these prompts to get them right um, uh, because i think this is very difficult to not make it very AI written because in the end what I want is just my normal voice and the, the way I would write it but in like kind of my most focused um, state and I think this is this is okay um, this works nice so I use these also quite often and then this leaves us with two others this is summarize and draft um, also very um, helpful so what does summarize do um, you can already guess it. Uh, if I press option S, it just summarizes a piece of text. In my case, I instructed it to uh, create like an outline from it, which is also logically indented so that I can very easily kind of scan it and make sense of, um, of the outline. And um, this is of course really nice to summarize stuff. Um, and draft is now a way for me to take an outline or maybe a transcribed um, text that I just spoke into my microphone and then create a draft uh, for it. So if I press option D, it uh, creates uh, a draft, but for a specific type that I can define here. For example, here I can now say a blog post with uh, four paragraphs. I press enter and now it takes the outline and it just creates uh, four paragraphs with exactly the information that I just gave it to the outline. And this could, of course, also be something different. I could say, for example, uh, click Beatty. I don't want to do that, but uh, uh, Instagram caption or something, right? Uh, and then it's probably going very hard on, on, on click uh, clickbait, which is, in that case, actually not really nice. Um, but... Uh, 
yeah, so there are different ways to make drafts. Um, and it just gives me a head start of then creating a final version. And you can see now also how these things can be combined. For example, I could uh, transcribe maybe some of my thoughts about a piece of content, let's say a blog post, then I bring it down, then I summarize it with uh, option S, then I have this nice outline of what I said and the content, and then I can use uh, option D to create a draft, and then option I and option P to polish, and that way I can just save my myself so much time and focus more on creating something and writing something and getting kind of my thoughts out and into the right format that I have on my mind. Yeah, so these were the 10 AI shortcuts that I use in Raycast. If you want to know how that works exactly in Raycast, do let me know. Um, uh, I think it's not too difficult to figure out yourself, but very happy to help. And I hope this was interesting to you and uh, let me know oh, what you learned or if you have other ideas for some shortcuts.